Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. All right. What is it? Let's see here. I've Someone else died. A lot of gold. Something Someone else died. Your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Wait a minute. Who are these people? Wait, I've seen them on Solstheim. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. <laughs> yes, I am Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Really? Who's next? What? A seeker here? Take long to s dispatch them. So, this is even getting more interesting. I've never been a sellsword, never traded my skills for pay. I've always adventured on my own terms. All right, well, let's go. Wait, is there something this person? Orders. Let's read these. Board the vessel. Northern Maiden docked at Raven Rock. Take it to Windhelm. Then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Mandrake before he reaches Solstheim. Return with word of your success, and Mirak shall be most pleased. <laughs> All right, Mirak. You've got my attention. Oh, I should also check to see who died. Hmm, Botty. I think I think this was the the girl's mother. That uh Move to Riften. You know, at this rate, there'll be no one left in Skyrim. Who are you, courier? Okay. All right, Mule. You did a good job back there. All right, nosy lady. Looks You're like I'm here to see been you. Poking around. Yeah. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I bet. I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. A sleeping potion, yo. It's been a rough day. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna just try to get some sleep.
So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. All right, I'm following. I need some more ale, Lord Nar. You've had more than enough. Besides, you still haven't paid for the last one. I'll find some coin for you, I always do. Until then, I've no ale for you. Close the door. Mjol. Did you hear her? I guess not. Now we can talk. Why well, did some Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. So you're the one that took the horn. Surprised? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. What's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. You'd better have a good reason for dragging me here. It was the only way I could make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. All right, go on. I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Well, how do I know I can trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Why did you take the horn from Ustengrav? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent and not some Thalmor plant. Why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Yes. That's how I first learned I was Dragonborn. Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Hmm. You said the Thalmor are after you? Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. So, what's the part you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Do you know how crazy this sounds? <laughs> a few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. So what makes you think that the dragons are coming back to life? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So, where are we headed? Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. All right then, let's go kill a dragon. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. What? 
That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. Mm, so you know illusion spells just like I do. All right, let's go. Ognar, I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. I think I will meet you there. Oh, I see the dragon now. Yes. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. <laughs> Where's this dragon? It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon burial mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. All right. Don't you know there's a dragon attacking? Come on, let's go. We don't have time to wait for... Whatever her name is. Delphine. Wait a minute, is this Delphine? We gotta find some place to hide. How'd you beat me here? Come on. I am so Skyrim is one of the most dangerous places in Tamriel. Enough of this. I think they're wrong. It's magnificent, and I'm proud to call it that. you want to know. Nothing held back. Who are you and what do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. What do you know about the dragons coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. I've... Hmm. The Blades, who are they? Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. All right, then what's our next move? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. What makes you think the Thalmor are bringing dragons back? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere. Indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? And why are the Thalmor after you? Before the Great War, really the Blades helped the like Empire this. against the Walking Thalmor. The Our Grandmaster saw them as the greatest water. threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. 
So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. All right. Let's say I believe you, which I really don't, and that the Thalmor are somehow involved. How do we find out what they know? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. All right. So how do we get into the Thalmor Embassy? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Hmm. Take all the time you need. I have other things to look into. <coughs> all right. We need to go back and visit with something. the Greybeards. Ah, there you are. The Greybeards are an amazing lot. Imagine living your entire life without speaking to a friend or a loved one. I can not stand it. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimkel. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. I'm itching for a fight. How can I help you? Just sit tight. Something's about to happen. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da, which means push. Da. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now give you his knowledge. Da. between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeard. But you are ready. Vindra Krosis Saran Strunul done here. They've given me all the power they can for now. All right, it's time to return to Solstein. I think it's time that Mirak Seeking and I... Seeking passage to Solstein? Have a little conversation. Yes, let's go. 
I'd like to book passage. Well, I guess nothing bad happened the last time. Fine. We'll sail as soon as I get paid. Here. Casting off. Gyalin does the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gyalin. about Mirak. Not sure how difficult that's going to be. Maybe the captain knows something about him. With the Aspawn threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well done, friend. Do you know someone called Mirak? Uh, I might know someone, or maybe not. I can't remember. Just tell me if you know him. I... I can't. I just can't be sure. I think maybe he had something to do with a temple. A, a, a temple here on the island. But does that help? Yes, it does help. Thank you for your assistance. It's raised my men's spirits quite a bit. I hope Glover is sleeping and... I'm not sure, let's... hold on. These people could all be under Mirak's thrall again. And I wonder if I'm still vulnerable to his... magic. Wait... Neloff? Hmm? still have nothing to tell me, but what are you doing here? Hmm. Don't tell me you? that Mirak has you under his spell. Hmm? All right, let's go. I didn't think he ever left that, that mushroom. Said it was too risky, and yet here he is wandering around. We might remember. By night, we reclaim. What by day was stolen, far from ourselves. He grows ever near to us. All right, let's get to Mirak's temple. to the village. Freya. You there. What brings you to this place? Why are you here? I'm here investigating why everybody's enthralled. Who are you? I am Freya of the Skull. I am here to either save my people or avenge them. Save them from what? I am unsure. Something has taken control of most of the people of Solstein. It makes them forget themselves, and work on these horrible creations that corrupt the stones, the very land itself. My father Storm, our shaman, says Mirak has returned to Solstein, but that is impossible. This Mirak tried to have me killed. Then you and I both have reason to see what lies beneath us. Let us go, there is nothing more I can do here. The tree stone and my friends are beyond my help for now. 
We need to find a way into the temple below. Wait a minute. What temple below? Someone do something. What's going on? Cultist. Is this Freya's work? This is probably what I couldn't see. But my day was stolen. must not fail my people. What do you know about Mirak? His story is as old as Sol's time itself. He served the dragons before their fall from power, as most did. A priest in their order. But unlike most, he turned against them. He made his own path, and his actions cost him dearly. The stories say he sought to claim Sol's time for himself, and the dragons destroyed him for it. Tell me of your people, the Skull. We have lived on Solstheim for many generations. Our people are tied to the land itself. We try to serve the Allmaker, to live in balance with nature, instead of exploiting it, as others would. And you're here by yourself? There are few of us left unaffected by this curse. My father Storm, the shaman, protects them in the village. I fashioned an amulet to guard me against whatever has taken hold of the skull, but it is the only one of its kind. If I cannot find a way to save them, there is no hope for our people. We must find out what is at work here. Alright then, let's go. Yeah.